up guys this is clay here back with another youtube video today we're going to be checking out salty's best qbz class setup in black ops cold war all right so before we get into today's class setup if you could hit that sub button if you're new we are so close to 2000 subscribers and also hit that like button. Hitting the like button is the easiest way to support my channel. And it pushes the video out into YouTube algorithm so other people can see it. Another way to help out with the YouTube algorithm is to put something in the comments. It could be about the video or it could just be a random emoji. Anything helps. On the muzzle, we are going to be using the infantry compensator for the 12% added to the vertical recoil control. It does take off 8% to the horizontal recoil control, but it's not that much noticeable. On the barrel, we're going to be using a 15.5 inch task force barrel to add 6% to the damage, 50% effective damage range, and 50% to the bullet velocity. It brings the damage all the way up to 34, the effective damage range to 68 meters, and the bullet velocity to 1000 milliseconds. You do lose some starting ammo and a lot of vertical recoil control and horizontal, so you might want to keep that in mind. On the underbarrel, we're going to be using the foregrip for the 15% added to the horizontal recoil control. And on the magazine, we're going to be using the 40 round drum. You don't have to use this. You can use whichever one you prefer. On the stock, we are going to be using the Raider stock for the 30% added to the sprint to fire time and 40% to the aim walking movement speed. I highly suggest to give this class setup a go, but if you do end up changing some attachments around, let me know what those are in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, we're going to be checking out Salty's best QBZ class setup. Um, I have not, I have never used a QBZ like this. So this is going to be brand new for me. First gameplay. Or my first ever game with it. Kind of pushing a little... A little fast right now. Might have messed up. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even care that I died. He got spit on. <clears throat> yeah, turn around, teammate. Yeah, I'm just holding them in their spawn. Why would you reach out of that? No, almost died. Gotta watch out, that DMR hits hard. <clears throat> no! Uh, I didn't have any ammo. Still really early into the game, so we're chilling. I gotta be careful in this room. Mm. 
<clears throat> We're kind of getting pushed back a little bit here. I'm gonna try to help out my teammate right here. No. I'm just gonna sit right here. Losing Bravo. I gotta move back. Oh man, my teammates. They all died. Kind of trapped right now. Oh, could have died. Hard fueled and standing by. This is Sentinel 3 RSO. We have your score. We're not that far behind, so I'm not really stressed about the score. But we are gonna flank. Waypoint. All right, so we have our UAV. We're probably gonna pop it right off the bat. Seize the objectives. Hmm. Let's wait a little bit till we get A. Taking Alpha. I have Spycraft and Ninja, so this is... They know where I'm at. There's the nuke. Oh my god. Couldn't really do much. No. 
just need to hold him off a B for a little bit longer. I'm gonna help my teammates. No, one of our teammates just got kicked. Why? <laughs> my teammates are all crouching on B. Oh my god, I am frying right now. I finally died. <clears throat> this class setup is actually amazing. The QBZ really grew on me, like, after a while. At first, I wasn't really a fan. But the movement is crazy. You can run around and do what I'm doing. I easily... You do have to control the recoil a little bit. I mean, if you know how to do that, you're fine. It does lack in bullet velocity. Hundred and two and six. That was my very first time using this class setup. All right, that's gonna end it. One hundred and five and seven. GGS.